and welcome to NEMC TV 6. This is our focus program. I'm Joe Adair. I'll be your host today. And joining me is Cassandra Christian and Maureen Finn, both local Armada uh, ladies that are here because they have a very heartfelt program that they're starting to do an event for. Uh, as we all know, we were hit and devastated with a tornado two weeks ago. And these ladies are here to help. What prompted you to do this? After the tornado, um, my, my house was not affected, but my, my friend Maureen's was and a few other of our friends. And as we were watching the cleanup effort and the community work together, we, we wanted to be able to do more. We were looking around, what else can we help with? And we asked around and we didn't see that anything was being provided for the residents to replant and replace their trees. The municipalities were covered, but the residents weren't. So we felt like that was a, an empty spot that we would be able to fit in and, and help to rebuild. And we wanted to make it an event so it would be fun and we'd have music and food and activities for kids and really celebrate how our community came came through this devastating tornado. And, and we're going to be okay we're, because we're working together. Right. And I do want to give a shout out and a big, big thank you to DTE, to Cap and Trees, to other municipalities, to football teams, mm -hmm. everybody that came to the assistance of Armada when we needed them most. So big, big heartfelt thank you for that. Yes, thank you Romeo football team. You yep. guys showed up. You actually worked at my friend's house with us. So yep. shout out to Romeo football team. That was that was amazing. They came. They did a great job, and yep. they were really enthusiastic and happy to help. And it it made our day. Yeah, people brought water. People brought meals for the workers and stuff. It was it was a very very awesome site. Yeah, it, it was incredible. And we wanted to to take some of that energy into rebuilding as well. Instead of just cleaning up and leaving it the way it was, we wanted to keep that momentum and excitement and and work on rebuilding. Okay, so what do you have in mind? What what are we gonna do? So our event is Sunday, uh, September 26th, and it's going to be held at the Armada Village Memorial Park. What's left of it? What's left of it, yes, <laughs> but we're working on, uh, we're working alongside with the township and village and those trees will be replaced as well. Yes. Um, at that, our, our event will start at one o'clock, but if anybody is available to volunteer, they're welcome to come at nine and lend a hand, even if you haven't signed up in advance, you just find out you're available that day. Please feel free to just show up, and we will we'll put you to work, man. We have no problem doing that. There's many hands make light work. Right. And when you say event, you you kind of make this a full day thing. You're going to have hopefully someone will help you with food. Yes. You're going to have some entertainment, some music. So if if you're a band out there and you want to contribute your talent. Get a hold of these get ladies. Yes, and please contact us. The more musicians we can get, we would love yep. to be able to rotate bands out throughout the day yep. and have we'll a have lot of variety. And we have a DJ to fill in any gaps in between bands already lined up. We're, we are looking for a point person for distributing the food and volunteers and donations of food as well that we would like to have. And also uh, any kind of food trucks. If somebody wants to send out a food truck and, and donate, that would be welcome as well. And you can contact us about that as well. Okay, and you actually need more than one point person. You're looking for someone to cover different areas and yes, different functions yes. of the event. Yes, yes, a point event. person for food, a point person for music. Uh, another thing that we'll need help with is the children's activities, if somebody is interested in being the point person for that and helping to organize it. And then we will also have volunteers that will assist them in that as well. So nobody's doing anything alone. We're all working together. And it doesn't become overwhelming for anybody because this is this is volunteer work and we realize people have their own lives and they can only dedicate so much time or resources. So right. we're really putting out a wide scope and trying to collect as many volunteers and fitting them in the right places. Okay, and you guys are going to do a lot of behind the scene work too. Yes. You're going to actually have the trees off site collecting yes. them Over prior the to, the event, to the event. And then mm -hmm. early that morning you will bring them into the park and those that want a tree can come in and just pick up a tree. Yes, we'll have a process, we'll have a table set up, and, and we'll be able to have that organized at that time. But yes, they'll be able to come and get trees if they're Armada or Township resident. Well, that's a little ray of sunshine. Yeah, and yeah. they don't if they can't physically move and plant the tree themselves, we're, we'll have a team assembled to assist them do, with that. 
with the equipment and the truck and I'm gonna shovels. Do better than that. I'm going to give you a tree and I'm going to plant it. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So right. Yeah. This is a well, whole... that's the helpful kind of thing that we, that we need right now. Yes. We do. So. And and that's the last group that we actually do need more volunteers for. We're calling it labor and equipment. So we're looking for people who can physically physically help dig holes, move trees. We're also looking for people that have trucks and will be able to pick things up from the nurseries when we get the the word that we have the donation move them off site and mm-hmm. then move them to the location and then possibly to people's homes as well okay. in the village in the township um so it's it's a combination of physical labor but also the equipment that is helpful to transport these things okay and now one of the major things is donations yes be it money be it talent labor but you've got to get the money to get the trees Yes. So how are you going about that? We are able to accept donations. We And I'm actually going to let Maureen explain that part. We have a group that we're working with that is a nonprofit, and so they will be hand in, handling that aspect and working in cooperation with us. Okay. Yeah, we're working with four county community Foundation. organization, and we're a local organization that they will work with, and they have a specific fund for us. So um, people can get a hold of Four County Foundation and tell them they want to donate. You know, like if I called and I said I, I want to donate to the Replant Armada, do you have a group, uh, a contact it, name, or it would be the Armada Fund. Armada right Fund. now. Okay. Yes. Okay. But it's best if they contact us. They contact Cassie or myself. Okay. So that we'll we will direct them to or reach out through the website or the Facebook group. Yeah. Okay. We have multiple ways. Any age limit on the help? No, we, if the Boy Scouts want to help, if anybody in elementary school wants to help, we will accept any and all help. Okay. Um, big hands, little hands, they, they all contribute to the big project that we're trying to do. And the, your, the food, <clears throat> you're going to look for donations of food, you're just looking for donations of money for the food. I'm thinking you're probably going to do like a hot dog. We were thinking something that we we would provide hot dogs, maybe Quick, some popcorn, easy. snack kind of things uh, for free. But then we're also looking at possibility of having food trucks come out as well. So that way people don't have to leave for dinner. They can stick around all day right. and, and enjoy and the party and help out. Dogs, and it yeah. helps out the people that are working. So mm-hmm. we want to make sure we have plenty of food available for all the people. So it, multiple forms is always a good thing as far as that's concerned. I wonder if we could talk to any of the vendors at the fair. Mm -hmm. So if anybody has a food truck or knows someone that has a food truck, please contact us. We used to have Kona Ice that went through town all the time. Remember? Kona Ice? They came came during cleanup and I got a free one. They were giving them out free and my daughter was so excited. They were amazing. So if they want to come back. Yeah, Yeah. there was a lot of help. Armada loves you. A lot of help. Um, Again, the event is September 26th. Yes. You will be there from early in the morning yes. till eight o'clock. Yes. Uh, your event is actually starting at one. Correct. Um, there's limited parking, so I, w- I wouldn't want anybody to be thrown off because there's no parking. But there's always parking lots that they can find in downtown. Correct. Uh, just up here at the admin building, there's an additional parking lot that's always yes. available to concerts and things at the at the park. Yeah, fortunately, the parking for the for the actual Memorial Park is limited, but there there are side streets and mm-hmm. parking lots that are nearby, so we'll have to use them as a resource. And right. we'll also be in communication with the local police and fire department, so we can make sure if we need an area blocked off or something like that, right. we'll, we'll be able to do that. And I'm sure they'll be out directing traffic that day and right. and helping us out too. Yeah. The- Chief of Police, Chief of the Fire Department are both awesome, awesome Yeah, the, the local so. support for this event has been amazing. All of the, the village and township meetings that we've gone to, it's been very well received. There is so much support behind this. So yeah. I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to go really well. And our meters DPW is, is good about anything you need, any signs, any... They're, I actually yeah. live right by them. I wave to them like every yeah. day. So, yep. <laughs> yeah. They're very helpful. They're, They're very helpful. They're yeah. great guys. They, they work they so hard. Um, anything else you can think of that you want to get some information why don't you give us the website yes I would like to give our website so our website is replantarmada.org we also have a Facebook group that you can reach us at and that is replantarmada group 
And we have an email, Cassandra at replantarmada.org, if you'd like to contact me, or Maureen at replantarmada.org. And then I think that's it, actually. Those are the best ways to contact us right now. And again, if they can, if you can help, if you can do anything, help pass out the trees. Just, just do something to help. Yes. So, oh, one thing I did want to add is we will have a presence in and around the Armada Fair. We'll have a table set up outside of the fair on Main Street where people can sign up to volunteer. We'll have more information. We'll actually be selling our T-shirts there. We have great T-shirts. They designed a, a wonderful logo very quickly. So. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we will have T-shirts available for purchase, and people will be able to get more information and sign up at that point. Mm -hmm. We'll also be passing out flyers inside the fair. Um, so we will have a presence during fair week. We'll, we're going to be all over the place, ma'am. You'll we'll be, be outside the fair as well? We'll be, we'll be outside the fair. We'll be inside the fair. We'll be all over the place. So okay. we'll have a presence during that as well. So if people want to catch somebody in a bright green shirt with Replant Armada, then those people will be able to ask some que answer some questions too. Well, good. I appreciate the information. I'm glad you guys are working on this. It's awesome. I mean... I'm a tree lover, so I am too. <laughs> tree trees, yeah. You know, even though your trees that you're going to pass out aren't going to be fully grown, they're not going to be enormous. We won't live to see them as big as what we had, but it's a start. We're providing it's a this beautiful, start. beautiful start. Yes. So, uh, so if you want to help and you want to be part of this uh, group's event, just get a hold of them on their Facebook page. Their email address is once again. Cassandra at Replant Armada, one word. That's R E P L A N T A R M A D A dot org. Or Maureen at Replant Armada dot org. We also have a website, Replant Armada dot org. To coordinate the community effort to recover from this July 24th tornado, the community response has been heartfelt. And it is. we really think that. This is a beautiful little community. Everybody mm -hmm. pulls together, so it's something that's that's well be a needed. Great event! I'm excited. I, I am too. There's a I lot of too. excitement. We had, we had got through the the sadness and, and the heartache, hope. and now we're ready for the hope and hope. right. Uh, like we talked a little bit before, you know, mm -hmm. this is something that not everybody's home insurance is going to cover. Mm -hmm. So right. this is a way to There's help a them out with that. Financial and a physical burden that we are hoping and an to help. And emotional, emotional as well, exactly. yes, and it just having that support and that help and help to relieve some of that burden from the residents that feel like they were dealing with it alone and it was so overwhelming to them. Right. We're coming alongside them and, and we're all going to work together and I was fortunate not so tough. because I wasn't alone. I had Cassandra on the porch <laughs> with me looking at the four trees that yep. collapsed and yep. then the community swarmed in yep. and they really helped out. Right. Yeah. So if you want to be part of this feel good event, be sure and get a hold of the ladies. Mm -hmm. Or just simply show up at uh, the Village of Armada's Memorial Park on Sat Sunday, I'm sorry, Sunday, September 26th, and do what you can. If not, just have a good time. So with that, I will say good afternoon. Thank you for joining us, and watch for our next Focus program. I'm Joe Adair. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>